Israel rejected proposals for a ceasefire with Hezbollah on Thursday. Right after the United States, France and several allies called for a 21-day halt in fighting. Israel has launched the heaviest airstrikes against Lebanon since the 2006 war over the past week, killing more than 600 people. As months of cross-border fire with the Iranian-backed Hezbollah movement spiralled close to all-out war. Foreign Minister Israel Katz said in a statement Israel would fight, quote, with all our strength until victory and the safe return of the residents of the north to their homes. That dashed hopes of an imminent truce expressed by Najib Mikati, the prime minister of Lebanon, where hundreds of thousands of people have fled their homes seeking safety, and added to fears of an Israeli ground invasion. On the streets of Naharia in northern Israel, support for a hardline stance. Tens of thousands of Israelis have also fled homes along the frontier with Lebanon. We must finish with this to kill them, to, to stop them, to, to, to do something, but not, this, not stop the, the, the war. No, we don't believe them. They want to finish us. We want to see a diplomatic resolution and a solution to prevent an all-out war. The ceasefire call for Gaza as well as the Israel-Lebanon border followed intense discussions at the United Nations on Wednesday. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, heading to New York to address the UN, said he had not yet given his response to the truce proposal, but had instructed the army to fight on. Israeli airstrikes overnight hit around 75 Hezbollah targets in the Bekaa Valley and southern Lebanon, including weapons storage facilities and ready-to-fire launchers, the Israeli military said on Thursday. In one Israeli strike, at least 23 Syrians, most of them women and children, were killed when Israel hit a three-storey building in the Lebanese town of Yunin overnight, the town's mayor told Reuters. In June, southern Lebanon, a family killed in an Israeli strike was buried. Hezbollah members turned up to the funeral, where the mood was one of defiance. At least 72 people were killed in Israeli strikes on Wednesday, according to Lebanese health ministry statements. The sharp escalation in border warfare between Israel and Hezbollah has sent many nations scrambling to prepare for evacuations from the region. Yeah, I have to.